Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you a demo on Amazon Price Alert Tracker. So basically, after you download this sheet from Gumroad, you can find a link in the file. Just copy the link and before copy paste the link on the address bar, make sure that you have logged on your Google account. So once you copy paste the link on the address bar, it will create a pop-up to make a copy and just make a copy and sheet will open like this as you are seeing on the screen so basically this contains two sheet one is a setting tab and another was is an async tab so in the settings tab we have to give the name and the email id that you want to receive the notification and in the async tab you have to give the products that you want to monitor so basically this price amazon price alert tracker helps you to find the products that are selling at low price or at a very cheap price on a particular day so this script will run on a daily basis and fetch the updated price and send you the list of products only the list of products which are selling at a low price or at offer price so in free amazon price alert tracker you can up to 2025 products and in a premium version you can track up to 250 to 300 products so that's all about this amazon price alert tracker and i'm going to show you how to use this tracker so you have to give the access to this particular sheet just for a one time once you give the access it will run on a daily basis and fetch the price from the amazon daily and send you the list of products only the list of products which is selling at low or very cheap price so what you have to do is you need to copy paste the asin of that particular product that you are going to buy and put to here so if you're not sure about what the uh, product that i should add here just go to your wish list or just check out the cart whether you have any <clears throat> unprocessed items in your cart or uh, if you have some wish list on your amazon shopping or just copy those products as in and put it here or if you are having some products in your mind that you're going to buy in another couple of days or couple of weeks just put that product as well and let me show you how to find the asin so head over to amazon.com basically asin is nothing but an amazon identification number for the product so each product in amazon have an unique identification number and we are going to fetch with help of that so let's take any product and i will show you how to get the asset for the particular product so in the url itself you can able to find the asset and it always starts with b so you can just copy paste and this is an asset or if you are still not sure about uh, uh, finding the asset click ctrl plus f and type as in here it will take you to the product information page where you can find the as of this product just copy this and put it over here so like that you have to put for how many products that you want to monitor and once you bought the product you can head over to the sheet either from your gmail and delete the product and at any time you can add in new products that you want to monitor so that's the feature that is available in this uh, Amazon price alert tracker so let me show you how to execute that and you have to execute this just for a one day one time and from next day onwards the script will run on the server side you no need to do anything on the script unless and until you want to add or delete the products in the Amazon Asin tracker so go to Amazon price alert tracker and click on the first run so when you're running this for a very first time it will ask you an authorization click on continue and select the gmail id that is associated with this google drive and you will see a notification that is isn't verified click on the advanced and select the one go to free amazon price alert so where you have to give access to few step first one is to interact with the amazon api and next one is to send you an email notification automatically on the day and we have to interact with third party amazon api so that's why it's asking third party web content prompt and once you're done with this access click on hello as soon as you click on the hello it start fetching the price from amazon you can see the price getting updated on this sheet so this is a current price that is fetching from the amazon so here if you see that this is a current price which means so the selling price and this column denote how much 
you would save if you buy this product at this time so the list price is nothing but a sum of current price and this column so if you see the first product you could save $50 and because the current price is $49.99 approximately $50 but the actual price of the product is $100 so if you buy this product right now you could save $50 and like this all other product will have its own offer price but if you see this product it don't have any offer price but if you buy this product you will save nothing that's why it's mentioning 0.00, .00. And after, your, after the end of this execution, you will get an email notification. This email notification you will get on a daily basis if the product is selling at cheap price. So this is the email notification and you can head over to a Google Sheet to add or modify products anytime as you want. And there are the details about the product. If you see that the number of items that I have added is 10. but I get only five items because these are all the items which is selling at offer price and these are all the items if I bought I could save this much amount you could save if I buy this item I could save $50 and if I buy this phone I could save $10 so using this option add to cart you can directly it will take you to our Amazon cart page and that you can complete the purchase as soon as you receive the mail if you feel that it's a good deal just complete the purchase as as soon as possible so that you will get a good offer so that's all about this video and if you have any doubt just drop your doubts if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye